Hey there, have you, have you ever fallen in love with something or someone so uh, fully, like, like to the point uh, where it just became like totally consumed you? Have you ever been in that position? Well, hang in there because today I'm going to share with you a story uh, from my past, essentially, a little uh, of how I uh, used passion and how that passion consumed me to actually learn something to the extent that I was actually considered professional and how I've learned to harness that uh, focus, that energy, that passion to essentially learn uh, whatever it is that you want to learn, in this case, uh, learning how to build my business. Hey there, Isai Rodriguez coming at you with more tips, tricks, and advice so that you can get the most out of your network marketing business. So as you're hopping on, if you could, let me know where you're tuning in from. Drop me a heart. Drop me a like. Uh, let me know um, where you're tuning in from. If you're catching this live, drop me a hashtag live. If you're catching the replay, drop me a hashtag replay. Uh, I like to keep some preliminary stats on, uh, you know, how these videos are doing. So uh, using passion uh, to become awesome in your business. So, you know, like, uh, so th this kind of came about uh, in, an, in an awkward way. I was kind of thinking like, all right, like, what am I going to talk about today? Uh, what should I talk about? And though I have uh, a whole host of things to talk about, I've got notes upon notes upon notes of all sorts of training and, you know, uh, tips that I've picked up here and there, either through my team uh, or through invested training. Uh, and, and I just, I kind of, I hold on to those notes as like my uh, repository, you know what I mean? Like, so I try to come up with fresh new ideas every day, but sometimes like, you know, you're just so pressed for time and, uh, you know, I, uh, you can't, I can't really fully invest on, you know, thinking of a fresh topic. So I have this repository of things that I can just kind of, let me look through this, it'll spark an idea, and then I'll write something about it, and then I present that to you. But today, uh, I had a funny um, uh, thought that came to mind, and I was just kind of, you know, I was, I was showering this morning and, uh, you know, getting ready for the day. And so I was listening to a podcast as I normally do while I'm showering and, and a thought came into my mind. I'm like, man, you know, the more invested I become in, in this business, the more I love, like the more I just love the industry and the business and the people that I'm, that I, that I'm associating myself with, you know, like the, the new relationships that I'm building. Like I just, I, the, again, the more, the more. Uh, involved I get the, the more I love the industry and I remember like the last time I really felt this way um, was way back in the day when I was a wee little uh, I'm not gonna say a toddler but I, I was anywhere I don't remember exactly how old I was I was anywhere between 8 and 12 around there so I was I was a young guy you know what I mean like I was a young little uh, a boy and um, I found like I always uh, I always loved music I, I've always been um, in a household where there was always music uh, you know either it was playing on the radio or my parents you know had uh, little eight tracks that they were always playing <laughs> that kind of dates me but um, you know, I, I always had the rhythm of music inside me, you know what I mean? And um, one day, I forgot what it was, um, I was watching a video, of, a, a music video actually, and I just became infatuated with the drummer, you know, like the beat and uh, how, it, how it just kind of blended in with the music and how it kept the, the tempo and the rhythm 
of the music. And and I just I just something about it just kind of uh, caught my attention. And at the time, I was again in the eight to ten, uh, eight to twelve year time frame. I was um, I was going to church uh, as a little as a little boy, and the drummer at the time uh, for what I I don't remember exactly what happened, but. I, I was looking up to this guy, you know, like he was there all the time, beating away at the drums, and I and and again, I, I just uh, I, I formed this uh, connection with with the drums, like playing a full drum set, and so that passion, like one day he was there, and again the next day uh, he wasn't there, and then there there was this opportunity. Where I could, um, uh, where where I was asked, like you know, hey, I noticed you're always, uh, you know, you're always watching the drummer. You always, um, like, we see you connecting with him. He's not going to be here for some time. Would you like to step in, you know, in his place? And and I took that and I ran with that opportunity. I was like, heck yeah, <laughs> you know, and and I just kind of, I just jumped right in there. And like, I had no clue what I was doing when I first started. I had no effing idea, you know what I mean? But I just, I knew that that's what I wanted to do at the time, you know what I mean? Like, it, it caught my attention. So I had the opportunity and I went with it. And so, long story short, the more involved I got into learning how to play the drums, the more infatuated I got with it. Like, it got to the point where, you know, I could be uh, listening to music and I was so focused on how the rhythm section was being played and what rhythms they were playing and, and, and how they were playing it and how it uh, interacted with other instruments. And um, I essentially, um, like, I would sit there for hours on end and I would just essentially um I would I would um like I would imagine myself playing in that you know in that band in that with that uh you know with that um with that band you know what I mean like I would put myself there but it was it was essentially the my passion for for music and my desire to learn um, uh, how to play the drums that, that essentially drove me to learn, um, how to play the drums to the, to the point where, you know, I was considered professional, you know what I mean? Like I was playing with, with several different bands. I was being seeked out, um, uh, daily almost like, Hey, what do you, you know, I, I would have people coming up with, uh, coming up to me. And saying, hey, I, I hear you play drums, you know, I heard you're uh, pretty good. You know, we're, we're looking for a drummer. Are you available? And, and I would take any and every opportunity to, to play drums, you know what I mean? And now, so how does this, how does, okay, so how does all this relate to you building your business online? Or, you know, offline, however it is you decide to build. So, again, like, that desire for me to learn how to play the drums took me from uh it essentially took me through the ups and downs of learning to play like there was times where you know i would just i would hear a rhythm and i would play it and there was nothing to it and then there was other times where i would hear a rhythm and i just i just couldn't get it you know what i mean like i tried and i tried again and i and i, and I just for the life of me i couldn't get it but i didn't let that discourage me you know what i mean like i i continued on and the more involved I got in, you know, the more involved I got, the more passion uh, grew inside me. And when I did hit those rhythms, you know, once I did find that rhythm per se, like it, it just, it just fueled my passion, my already existing passion for, for playing the drums. And, and that same passion you can use towards your business, like, don't let the ups and downs, um, um, you know, uh, derail you from your goals. You know what I mean? Like, 
there's going to be times where, uh, you know, where you, you might be on a good streak. Like you may be recruiting left and right. You know what I mean? And everything is good. You're on top of the world. And then there's going to be times where, uh, you know, where, where it's not quite working so well. You know what I mean? And you may, you may even end up in a funk, you know, like not recruiting anyone, not, uh, not being able to sell your product or whatever the case may be. But I urge you to immerse yourself into the industry. If there's something missing, you know, like if, if you hit a funk, you know, get connected with your upline, get like, get plugged into a system, find you know, uh, some, some positive teammates that you can surround yourself with that'll lift you up. You know what I mean? That'll fuel your passion for the industry and it'll get you back on track. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, um, as you're, as you're, you know, as you, as you build that passion, you know, let that, fuel you you let it like if it blinds you even better you know like if you get to the point where you're blinded by like you know i i want to get this done i'm gonna get this done i'm gonna make it happen i'm gonna do this this and that to make it happen you know and then taking the action as you go through that you're gonna see small incremental gains and those gains are gonna essentially uh fuel that already existing passion to get you to exactly where you want to be. You know what I mean? So again, don't let don't let the ups or, or the downs uh, derail you. Stay on course, you know, stay fueled and make your make your uh, you know make your dreams, make your lifestyle, create your lifestyle, make it happen for you, for yourself. You know, again, if you if you need to jump into the to the point where you're essentially blinded and you don't see to the right and you can't see to the left. That's awesome. All you see at that point is your goals. That's all you see. You're going to see that massive bank account. You're going to see, a, you know, a huge uh, uh, team. You know what I mean? Like that, let those goals, whatever your goals are, let them fuel you and stay connected. Stay plugged in. Keep feeling your head, you know, filling your head with, with knowledge. Keep learning. But above all, don't get stuck in analysis paralysis. Yes, learn. It's critical. It's, it's fundamentally uh, a part of what we do. You know, we're, we're, all, you know, we're always continuously learning. We're, we're con continuously consuming things. But at a certain point, you need to take action. And that action is what's going to fuel uh, that passion. And then that passion is what's going to bring you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you cut through the ups and downs. Like if you have a down, okay, it doesn't matter. Why? Because you're so passionate about what you're doing and where you're going that it's, it's not even going to matter. It's not going to matter. So, hey, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, vi this tr video training. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know you enjoyed it. Drop me a line uh, or message. Let me know what you liked what you didn't like, what you would like to hear, uh, any, any topic you want me to touch upon, I'm always open uh, to bringing you exactly what you want. So if you let me know, I can bring you exactly what you want. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to know more, uh, like if you want to get more advanced training in uh, like building funnels or like just attraction marketing, then Sign up for my uh, free 10-day boot camp where my mentor, Fernie Ceballos, will uh, walk you on a, on a daily basis. He's going to, for 10 days, he's going to walk you through what it is um, that, that makes up attraction marketing. Like all the fundamental, blo uh, uh, fundamental blocks that you need in place. He's going to explain that to you in a very simple way. Uh, also... Also, if you're looking for an opportunity and you don't have one, give me a, give me a message. I'm always looking for, um, you know, I'm always looking for hungry individuals that want to make something happen, that are looking to create an awesome lifestyle for themselves. I want to be there with you. 
I want to help you. Let's get together. Let's rock this out. Let's make it happen. All right. Until the next video, take care now. Bye.